Joe Biden is such an idiot that actually a politician died in the place he was speaking several months ago, and he still asked, where is she? she not, she's not here today? This was major news. Everyone, especially if you're a lifelong politician, you would know this woman died. And he said, I, I, where is she? Is she here? And so many of you know so much about this as well, and you're committed. And I want to thank all of you here for including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this. Jackie is dead, you idiot. It's like the time he asked the guy in a wheelchair. There's Chuck. Stand up, Chuck. Come on. Oh, God love you. He's in a chair. Jackie died, unfortunately. But maybe Joe Biden actually saw her. You remember the movie The Sixth Sense? Where the closer you get to death, you, I see dead people. Joe Biden is now communicating on that level. Now, he mumbles through a speech and he just kind of has no energy. I'm going to tell you, it's one long run on sentence. But he still has a time to then tell you the vaccine is worked. And Joe Biden will tell you the pandemic is over. Just ask him now. When Trump said one day the pandemic will just go away, the, the virus will basically disappear, we're not going to be talking about it. The radical left shrieked, no, it never will go away, you idiot. This was their like comfy blanket, their lucky blankie. You're not allowed to take the pandemic from them. But now Joe Biden does it. Have you seen crying and screeching in the streets? Take a look. I've spoken to uh, President Xi. They're getting it more and more under control. So, uh... I think that's a problem that's going to go away. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Yes. And from our shores, we've, you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. You have to be calm. Pandemic and is over. It'll go away. It will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. We need a little separation until such time as this goes away. It's going to go away. It's going to go away. Pandemic and is over. We are not where we need to be if we're going to be able to, quote, live with the virus, because we know we're not going to eradicate it. We only did that with one virus, which is smallpox. It will go away. You know it, you know it is going away, and it will go away, and we're going to have a great victory. Thank it's you. going to go away, hopefully at the end of the month, and if not, it hopefully will be soon after that. But so it is going on this evolved. It is going away. Pandemic and it is over. I didn't say it I said it's going away and it is going away. You were saying things like, I think it's a problem that's going to go away with the couple right of days. About. If you notice, no one's wearing masks. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. It, go, it will go away. But I think what happens is it's going to go away. This is going to go away. It's going to go. It's going to leave. It's going to be gone. It's going to be eradicated. Pandemic and it is over. As uh, far as we're concerned, the media dictates how 40% of us think, not us, we're here, but just know your great aunt Shirley, your uncle Larry, he gets off of a long day of work, he sits down in front of the TV, he turns on Don Lemon for four minutes and falls asleep. Whatever he hears in that four minutes is the way he views the world because he had his head deep in his paperwork, his construction work, his office manager, whatever he was doing, he doesn't have time to watch the news the way we do. Therefore, the media tells 40% of America right off the top. When Trump said the, vi the virus is going to go away, mismanagement, bad person, get him out. Your life is at risk. When Biden says it, well, we can talk to other people. We're not exactly sure, but, you know, he makes a good point. Yes, indeed. So remember, media's definition, Trump says it will go away bad. Biden says it will go away. Okay, if it helps him in the polls. Joe Biden has a big plan on how to get rid of the hurricane that's coming to Florida. Now, hearts go out to everyone in Florida because there is a real risk that if this thing touches ground, there's going to be trouble, drama. People are lacking water. There's people getting told, don't go to work today. Stay home, shelter in place. I hope everything's okay. But here is your fearless leader, the one that so-called 81 million people voted for, to give you some insight how to deal with the pending hurricane. Let me be clear. If you're in a state where hurricanes often strike, like Florida or the Gulf Coast or into Texas, a vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now. Everything is more complicated if you're not vaccinated in a hurricane or a natural disaster hits. <coughs>
We need food, water. We need to know what kind of shelter is the best. We need to know is there certain cities that can be driven to that are safer than others. Biden, the five-time household Covifi winner, meaning he got Covifi three different times. His wife got it twice. They each have been boosty boosted eight times combined. He thinks the best solution and the number one thing you need to do to prepare for this hurricane, two years later, go on, get vaccinated. Come on, not a joke. Let's go. Your foot hurts, get vaccinated. You're, you're, you're cutting your toenails too short and a vaccine can help. Joe Biden, my job doesn't pay enough to cover this inflation. What can I do? Get vaccinated. Have you tried that part yet? Because I'll tell you what, the experts tell you, not a joke. It works. You get in your car, low on fuel. Joe Biden, there's not enough gasoline. The prices are too high. I can't even start my car. Get vaccinated. Come on, man. I got the vaccine right here. I got to You put it in. It's not that hard. You want to get through this thing or not? Joe, my eggplant doesn't stay upright. My girl's here. She's trying everything. She's even doing a little dance. She's got the perfume. She bought the new outfit. Get vaccinated. Mine hasn't worked in 40 years unless I sniff the hair of a little girl. Ah, oh, little girl, little seven-year-old girl. And then it's like you get vaccinated in each nostril. Get vaccinated. I would like you to try to give a problem the Joe Biden solution. So put in the comments, please. Write, write my blank, 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 blank. And then I will write, Biden says, get vaccinated. I can't wait to see what problems you guys come up with. And I'll tell you what Joe Biden would say to solve that solution. Let's see what you've come up with so far. Here's one. My car, Joe, just ran out of electricity and I can't charge it. Get vaccinated. Come on, man. Joe, I'm constipated. It literally won't come out. You take the syringe and you spread you spread the butt cheeks like Jill does for me when she goes for the big wipey. And then you get vaccinated. Come on. Not a joke. Joe, my driver's side mirror got smashed. Every mirror down the street because of these thugs you let out of prison. Were they vaccinated? Come on. It's hell you're not a joke. Gotta get vaccinated. You guys can play along at home. Please keep leaving comments and then just add, get vaccinated. And you will have a fun time. That is Joe Biden's solution to every problem in America. <laughs>